In this video we're going to complete example one and we're going to check whether an Eulerian trail exists or an Eulerian circuit or neither exist. We're going to do it in two different ways. First by counting the degree of each vertex and then by tracing over the graph. So we'll start with uh, question A and we'll count the degree of each vertex. So this vertex has a degree of four, four edges connect to it. This one has three edges connecting to it. This one has three and finally this one has two. So for question A you will notice we have two vertices with an odd degree. So what does that mean? Well that means that an Eulerian trail exists. Now in case you've forgotten, an Eulerian trail means that we can go over every edge once without repeating any. It also means that we will start and end at a different vertex. So let's check this by tracing over our graph. We are told that if you have an Eulerian trail that you actually need to start at one of the vertices with an odd degree and you'll find that you'll finish at the other vertex with an odd degree. So we'll start here and we'll trace this one like so in green. Notice that I'm covering every edge only once, no backtracking, no repeating edges, and I end up finishing at the other vertex with an odd degree. Okay, let's move on to question B now. Checking the degree of each vertex, we have one, two, three, four, five edges here. We have three edges here, three edges here, and three edges at point B. So what we learn from this one at, is that there is neither an Eulerian trail nor an Eulerian circuit because for an Eulerian trail we need only two vertices with an odd degree and for an Eulerian circuit you actually need all of them to be an even degree. I'm not going to bother tracing over this because I know that it is impossible to trace over every edge once without repeating any. Let's now move on to question C. Checking the degree of each vertex, we have one, two, three, four edges. One, two, three, four edges. Four edges here and two edges. Notice that every vertex has an even degree, which means an Eulerian circuit must exist. Now let's check by tracing that this is an Eulerian circuit. We'll start at this vertex here and trace around by not repeating any edges and we're hoping that we come back to the same vertex that we started from and it's looking really promising right now. Yes, we finished right back at the start. That concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.